video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, Vincent here from the creativedojo.net. Welcome to the After Effects Pit Tip Video Tutorial. In this Pit Tip Video, I want to share with you guys a common dilemma that you may experience in After Effects if you use a lot of effects, blurs, glows, a lot of different plugins. You'll find yourself occasionally encountering this issue where the actual effect or plugin, whatever you're trying to apply, is actually being cut off by the boundary of the After Effects layer. And this is kind of a limitation of After Effects. For the most part, things are kind of retained within their boundary box within their layer. So for example, if I had this triangle right here, and I want to apply something like a radio blur, for example, you'll see that it gets cut off just like this because the layer size is actually this size. Now in my particular case, I have a composition that's a triangle, so I can go in here and kind of increase the comp size to my current comp size, and that will kind of expand things up. But you can't really do that with image layers or video layers, and at the same time, you could pre-compose it into the same comp size. Now your comp size mismatches your element size, and it gets kind of confusing, and a lot of times we want to kind of declutter our comps. We don't want to pre-compose things all the time, um, in particular cases, just to kind of expand the layer. So there are some solutions for this. So for example, if I go ahead and delete everything here, and we apply a, let's say a radial blur, under blur and sharpen, we'll drag that in, and we'll change the type from spin to zoom, and we'll go ahead and increase the amount here, maybe like 150, and just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna apply a glow, just so we can kind of see this a little bit clearer on the video, and we'll kind of increase the radius a little bit and increase the intensity. So as you can see, our radio blur is being cut off by our bounding box of our layer. And this can vary between text layers, it can vary between plugins, it can vary between different effects. So it's very, very inconsistent. It kind of depends on what effect you're using and what layer you're applying it to. Um, some plugins are smart and they kind of do it behind the scenes. Some are not so smart. Some premium plugins like from Red Giant, they have plugins where you can go ahead and generate the alpha. Um, so you're kind of expanding the layer that way. Uh, but in this particular case, we don't have that option. So we could apply something like row bounds and then we'll go ahead and drag it right above our layer stack. So you want to apply it before the actual effect. Okay. And we want to crank this up to like, I don't know, 2000 or so. It may take a couple of seconds to kind of compute. But as you can see, now that we have the grow bounds right above the radio blur, you can see that we don't have that bounding box issue anymore. And the radio blur kind of extends beyond the layer boundaries. Now grow bounds works a lot of times, but a lot of times it doesn't work as well. So for example, if I use a different effect, let's say I apply like a chromatic glow from um, the universe collection here. We'll apply under the grow bounds. And as you can see, even though we have the grow balance on top, our universe glow doesn't really work and it's still being capped by our bounded box. And you'll find that some effects don't really work with the grow bounds effect. Um, I don't know why, I don't know the mechanism behind it. But another solution here is to apply a CC reptile effect under stylize. Use it the exact same way. We're going to go ahead and expand everything to the right, to the left, and we'll expand it up and down as well. And as you can see, it's tiling, which we don't want. So we can go to tiling to repeat, change it to none. And so now we're growing the bounds, but we're not exactly tiling it. So that way, now our chromatic glow works without being cut off by the boundary box here. And like I said, it kind of depends on what effects you're using, um, whether you're applying it to text layers or not. So, so many different variations. So for example, if I go ahead and delete this and apply like a Gaussian blur, now by default, it does kind of cap out if we blur it to the extreme, you can kind of see the edges here. Um, but if we uncheck repeat edge pixels, um, that bounding box is no longer there and now we can kind of blur things out nicely without being cut off. So some effects have those options, some don't. But now you know two ways to kind of combat that, that is using the grow bounds effect and the CC reptile effect. So if you're into this issue, try it out. It might kind of help you in your toolbox of arsenal of things to do. Before I go, I want to give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the only platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have an amazing theme to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code knowledge required. They have awesome 24 hour support and best of all, be supporting the code dojo at checkout. You can actually save 10% off your order and support the dojo's checkout over at squarespace.com slash dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys like videos like this, give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.